Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to introduce to you Senator Hillary Clinton. much to my surprise and his, has made a lot of money since he left the White House, <laughs> doing what he loves doing most, talking to people. <laughs> but we didn't ask for George Bush's tax cuts. We didn't want them and we didn't need them. We'd rather that we had invested in a clean, renewable energy policy and with better schools for our children and with health care for the American people. Instead of trying to solve our problems, President Bush has used fear to divide us and fatalism to discourage us. He wants us to believe we can't solve our problems and we shouldn't even try. We can't become energy independent. We'll wreck our economy. We can't have universal health care. We'll wreck our health care system. Since when did America become the can't-do nation? Since when did we believe that we couldn't master any problem and overcome any challenge that confronted us? That's who we are. Let's start acting like Americans again. When President Bush took office, oil was $20 a barrel. I waited for him after 9-11 to summon us to something greater than ourselves. What I was hoping for was a call to energy independence. All he had to do was just look at who flew the planes into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. When I am president, you will not see me holding hands with the Saudis. You will see me holding the Saudis accountable. Part of the reason I have run such a specific solutions-oriented campaign is because when we take on the Republicans, it will not be enough to say, it's our turn. We're going to bring people together. We're going to make you feel good. We have to go toe to toe with Senator McCain on national security and the economy and convince a majority of Americans to trust us once again to make the decisions for our country and the world. Their attack machine will be on the ready. And one thing I want you to know that when the Republicans come after our nominee with everything they've got, I've been through it. They've been after me for 15 years, and I'm still standing once again. So tonight, we say with one voice, give us the child who wants to learn. Give us the people in need of work. Give us the veteran who needs our care. Give us this economy to rebuild and this war to end. Give us this nation to lift, this world to lead, this moment to seize. I know we are ready. Let's believe in ourselves and go forward to a great victory. Thank you all, and God bless you, and God bless America.